Hello traders, in today's video we're going to be talking about different ways of trading and how they suit various trading personalities. Let's traders, let's dive in to choosing your trading path. So what I'll say about this is that every single trading method that I mentioned today is something that I've done in the past. So this is not going to be any kind of general consensus. It's all from my experience and my opinion. And take that as you will. All right, let's dive in. So the first one I want to talk about is scalping futures and perpetual swaps, low time frame. This is definitely the hardest method of uh, trading, very high risk. It's, it's likely the hardest method of trading profitability wise, um, but you know, actual execution of it might be a bit easier. I will say that using high leverage, it's using high leverage with rapid within a few minutes or maybe a few hours, gains and losses. The issue with this is in those few minutes that you trade this with very high leverage, if price goes up 20% and you're short, you lose everything. If price goes down 7% and you're over leveraged and long, you lose everything. Or if price just slowly trickles down one way, you keep adding to your position and then it dumps, you lose everything. There's a ton of scenarios where you can lose everything that you put in very easily. So this is a type of trading that very few people have the personality to handle this consistently without using a bot. Um, with that being said, it totally is possible for you to make money on this. It's just that there aren't that many of you guys or of people out there who can do it. Exchanges to use, I would say Binance Futures, Digitex, and OKEx are probably the best ones. You can see I didn't mention BitMEX <laughs> um, for how to scalp futures profitably. All right, second, swing trading futures. This is probably the second most difficult form of trading, and it, it's high risk as well, not as like caps high risk as the one before, but it's pretty high risk. Mm. Using, pardon me, using a bit lower leverage than scalping with slower gains and losses. The benefit of this is you have a ton of wiggle room as, as price fluctuates, you're in profit, you're not in profit, you're in profit. You have a ton of wiggle room so that you can enter and exit at various prices. And another benefit is you have a lot of time for analysis to evaluate, evaluate what's going on. You know, you have a lot of time. More traders, I'd say, can have the personality to handle this type of trading consistently than traders who have the personality to scalp full-time um, or even scalping part-time. Exchanges that I would personally recommend, Binance Futures, FTX, OKEx, Uobi, and Bitfinex are probably the best. Um, Bybit is one I'd probably throw in there too. Bybit's pretty good. Deribit maybe. Yeah. Uh, those are probably all exchanges that, that you could use for this kind of trading. Probably one of the most, if not the most popular type, uh, spot trading, investing, or hodling altcoins. This is decent risk, probably the third most difficult form of trading profitably. It's buying altcoins at spot. That means spot means you're not using leverage, you're not using anyone else's money, you're not borrowing, you're using your own money, and you're buying an altcoin with hopes that it rises in price. And this has a benefit of there's no price, you get liquidated and no price of margin call if you don't use margin. So what this means is that when you buy something, you own it. So if something terrible happened and price fell 50%, then rose 500%, you'd be fine. I mean, if you didn't touch anything, you would actually be okay. But if you're using uh, leverage and you're on four times leverage and price goes down 4% and you're long and then up 500, you lose everything when price goes down 50%, right? But the bad side of this kind of trading is it leads to a lot of bag holding where traders who try to invest, what they end up doing is they just hold something and wait for it to be like 1% price pro 1 profitable and they just dump it and they hop into another coin, that kind of coin goes against them and they wait for that one to become like 1% profitable and they just dump it and then they end up with just a bunch of large losses and not many and uh, a, a few large losses and like maybe, you know, a few uh, small gains. It's not great for a lot of traders, but the type of trading personality necessary for this is one who is able to assess multiple coins without any attachment, any emotion, and looking at the likelihood probability that a coin will rise or fall in price. If you have what it takes to just scan a bunch of different coins, uh, do a system, and totally be able to manage risk, uh, limit your losses, and not fall prey to the classic I'm going to let this thing just go down 52%. And then the minute it goes above me half a percent, I'm getting out. If you don't do that, then you are probably going to be better off than most. 
Now, the exchange, I think that everyone already knows by this point, but probably the best exchange for this is for sure going to be Binance. All right, now we get to a really fun one. Options and move contracts and just trading off of volatility and derivatives of derivatives, really. This is probably the fourth most difficult form of trading profitably because of controlled risk. What I mean by most difficult or least difficult is the probability that you become profitable with this method from my experience, okay? So I'd say the least probable that you will become profitable is this one. Second least probable is that this one. Third least probable is this one. And then probably more probable that you'll actually make money is options and move contracts if you know what you're doing and you don't over leverage and you know how to control your risk using the beauty of options. Now, what this is, this whole space right here, is trading combinations of instruments to really just craft your own estimate of what price is going to do. You can choose to profit from time. You can profit from volatility. You can profit from inefficiency between contracts or inefficiencies between multiple changes. And you can, tr you can use uh, directional price movement as well. Now, this type of trading personality is one you, you got to be highly mathematical and willing to take on those higher degrees of complexity. And if you're willing to go to higher levels of complexity and not just, you know, all in uh, buy a thousand calls on Bitcoin that expire in one day, if you don't do that, or even worse, sell a thousand calls on Bitcoin and just hope for the best. If you don't do that, I think that this right here is a beautiful way that you can trade. Exchanges for this guy is FTX, Delta Exchange, and Deribit. FTX, you got uh, BTC move contracts and BVOL. Delta Exchange, you have BNB, Link, Ethereum, Bitcoin. All of those, they have move contracts for daily and weekly. So that's just a ton of possibility of profit. And then you have Deribit with just a ton of different options. Uh, some that expire tomorrow, today, expire on Friday, expire in two weeks, expire in a month, expire quarterly. Just a ton of different expiries. So this is something that I'd recommend a lot of you guys look into because I personally believe that there are more people who are highly mathematical than there are people who don't have any emotion in trading and can manage risk. Okay, likely the least difficult form of trading profitably is going to be delta neutral trading. This is just honestly my experience. I, I know that I my course is down below and you might be like, oh, he might be influenced by that. But I mean, the truth is of all the methods that I've tried, really, this one is probably the least difficult to be to make to make uh, money. The thing is, what this is without giving away the whole course, again, it's linked below, is trading combinations of instruments so you can hedge and profit from just a multitude of different factors. The type of trading personality is, for this is someone who just enjoys passive income with controlled risk. And it's great for those who feel that they just get too emotionally invested in their trading, which I know is a fair amount of people. The exchanges that we use for this are just FTX, Binance, and Binance Futures for the hedging and um, different methods of Delta Neutral. This is a kind of trading that I think that many could be uh, profitable at if they try it and they give it time to uh, grow. I think that this is something that can work for a lot of people. Whereas these two, um, it, it, there aren't as many people who can who can do this. And I really uh, look up to those who can do this one, you know, profitably for like five years and manage the risk. That is a wonderful thing. And those who can actually handle that without adding to losses, without using no stop loss, without, you know, falling prey to emotional bias, those people are super gods, you know? Um, so kudos to whoever does that. But those are my five methods for the different kinds of trading. You can pick whatever you want. And I'm going to help you guys out in the description below if you want to go start a different method or if you want to just, you know, know more about them. Um, I have videos on, I think, every single method or courses on every single method I've mentioned here. Again, uh, the finale of this video, I will say it is possible for anyone to become profitable at any of these five, but you got to know yourself. You know, Sun Tzu says, know yourself and know the enemy or the market, and you don't have anything to worry about. And I, I believe that if you know who you are as a trader and you know where you fall short and where you are, are, are really good at, and you also know the market to an extent of your information and data, then you'll be profitable. Um, but if you don't really know yourself or you lie to yourself or you fall prey to just emotional biases or try to take the easy way out, in this kind of uh, um, market, that's going to end quite horribly for you. Okay? So with that, 
happy trading and I would love to talk with you guys about all the different kinds of trading methods uh, mentioned today or some that I maybe didn't mention like you know arbitrage and uh, we'll go from there. With that, I'll see you guys in the next.